Hello, everyone. Welcome back for another video. I hope you're all doing well and having an incredible day. Today's question is a hot topic in the world of cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Do you think Ethereum can surpass Bitcoin to become the number one coin? It's a question that has been on the minds of many as these two giants continue to dominate the digital currency landscape. Before we dive into the discussion, let's take a moment to appreciate the significance of both Ethereum and Bitcoin in the crypto space. Bitcoin, often referred to as digital gold, was the pioneer in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency. It emerged as a decentralized and borderless form of money, gaining widespread acceptance and recognition. On the other hand, Ethereum introduced the concept of smart contracts, enabling developers to create decentralized applications, dApps, on its blockchain. Now, let's explore the factors that could potentially contribute to Ethereum surpassing Bitcoin in the future. One crucial aspect is Ethereum's versatility and functionality. While Bitcoin serves primarily as a store of value and medium of exchange, Ethereum's smart contract capabilities have allowed it to become a platform for a wide range of decentralized applications. This versatility attracts developers and businesses looking to leverage blockchain technology beyond simple transactions. Another factor is Ethereum's ongoing transition from a proof-of-work POW, to a proof-of-stake POS consensus mechanism through Ethereum 2.0. This upgrade aims to improve scalability, energy efficiency, and security. If successful, it could address some of the scalability issues that have plagued both Bitcoin and Ethereum, potentially giving Ethereum a competitive edge. Moreover, the vibrant and active Ethereum community plays a significant role. The Ethereum community is known for its innovation, continuous development, and collaborative spirit. This dynamic ecosystem fosters the creation of new projects and solutions, further enhancing Ethereum's appeal. Despite these strengths, it's essential to acknowledge the challenges and potential obstacles that Ethereum may face in surpassing Bitcoin. Bitcoin's status as the first and most widely recognized cryptocurrency, coupled with its strong network effects, gives it a certain level of resilience. Additionally, Bitcoin's limited supply and its narrative as digital gold contribute to its store of value proposition. Furthermore, the ever-evolving nature of the cryptocurrency market introduces an element of uncertainty. New technologies, regulations, and market dynamics can impact the competitive landscape, making it challenging to predict the long-term outcomes. In conclusion, the question of whether Ethereum can surpass Bitcoin as the number one coin is complex and multifaceted. Ethereum's unique features, ongoing developments, and active community position it as a strong contender. However, Bitcoin's established reputation, scarcity, and store of value narrative provide a formidable foundation. As the crypto space continues to evolve, only time will tell how these narratives unfold. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Without further ado, let's jump right into the discussion, and feel free to share your perspectives on this exciting topic. Welcome back to Optimistic News, where the updates on the cryptocurrency space are always positive. It's fantastic to consistently receive optimistic news, showcasing the overall health and vibrancy of the digital asset ecosystem. Recent trends and movements within the cryptocurrency market offer valuable insights into market sentiment and potential future shifts. One noteworthy development that has captured the attention of the crypto community is the substantial increase in the number of Bitcoin whales, as highlighted by crypto analyst Ali Martinez at the end of February. The term whales in the cryptocurrency world refers to individuals or entities holding a significant amount of a particular digital asset. These whales often have the capacity to influence market dynamics due to the substantial size of their holdings. In the case of Bitcoin, the presence of whales can be indicative of both investor confidence and potential market strength. 
According to Ali Martinez's analysis, there has been a notable surge in the number of Bitcoin whales towards the end of February. This surge implies that large institutional or high net worth investors are accumulating or holding onto their Bitcoin positions, which is generally interpreted as a positive sign within the crypto community. The increased concentration of Bitcoin in fewer hands can suggest a strong conviction in the long-term value and potential growth of the digital currency. This trend in Bitcoin whale accumulation aligns with a broader narrative of growing institutional interest and acceptance of cryptocurrencies. Institutions, ranging from traditional financial firms to corporations, have been increasingly entering the crypto space, adding credibility and legitimacy to the market. The influx of institutional investors is often seen as a positive signal as it indicates a shift towards mainstream acceptance and recognition of the intrinsic value of digital assets. The positive news extends beyond Bitcoin to encompass the broader cryptocurrency market. Many altcoins have experienced notable price appreciation and various blockchain projects are making significant advancements in terms of technology and adoption. Ethereum's ongoing upgrade to Ethereum 2.0, the rise of decentralized finance, DeFi, projects, and the exploration of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, are just a few examples of the innovative developments shaping the crypto space. Furthermore, regulatory clarity and acceptance are gradually becoming more prevalent, contributing to a more favorable environment for cryptocurrency adoption. Countries around the world are exploring and implementing regulatory frameworks that provide a balance between fostering innovation and protecting investors. In conclusion, the recent surge in Bitcoin whale accumulation, along with the broader positive developments in the cryptocurrency space, reflects a growing sense of confidence and optimism. The increasing participation of institutional players, advancements in technology, and a more supportive regulatory landscape collectively contribute to a positive outlook for the future of cryptocurrencies. As we continue to witness these encouraging trends, it's clear that the cryptocurrency space is evolving and maturing, laying the foundation for a more robust and sustainable digital financial ecosystem. Stay tuned for more optimistic updates here at Optimistic News. The world of cryptocurrencies has recently witnessed a significant surge in the activity of Bitcoin whales, those individuals or entities holding substantial amounts of crypto, particularly 1,000 Bitcoin or more. This uptick in accumulation is garnering attention within the crypto community, particularly given its coincidence with the approaching Bitcoin halving event. The anticipation surrounding the halving seems to be a key driver behind the increased buying activity among these influential holders, possibly motivated by the prospect of higher returns. Bitcoin halving, which occurs approximately every four years, is an event built into the cryptocurrencies protocol. During this event, the rewards for miners are halved, reducing the rate at which new bitcoins are generated. This scarcity mechanism is designed to control the total supply of Bitcoin, ultimately capping it at 21 million. The previous two having events, in 2012 and 2016, have historically been associated with significant price rallies in the months and years following. As the crypto space eagerly awaits the next halving, scheduled to occur in the not-too-distant future, the recent surge in whale accumulation has become a focal point of discussion. Holding 1,000 Bitcoin or more signifies a substantial investment, and when such entities increase their holdings, it often sparks speculation and analysis among market observers. One plausible explanation for this whale accumulation is the perceived opportunity for higher returns in the post-halving period. Historically, Bitcoin halvings have been followed by bull markets, with the reduction in new supply leading to increased scarcity and, subsequently, upward pressure on prices. Whales, being strategic investors, may be positioning themselves to benefit from the potential surge in value that has accompanied previous having events. 
The anticipation and speculation surrounding the having event can create a self-fulfilling prophecy, as increased demand leading up to the event can contribute to rising prices. This dynamic is not lost on savvy investors and Bitcoin whales, known for their ability to influence market sentiment, may be strategically accumulating in anticipation of a favorable market environment. It's essential to note that while the correlation between Bitcoin having events and subsequent price increases is historical, it does not guarantee future outcomes. The cryptocurrency market is influenced by a multitude of factors, including macroeconomic conditions, regulatory developments, and technological advancements. As such, while the halving is a significant event, it is not the sole determinant of Bitcoin's future price movements. In conclusion, the notable uptick in Bitcoin whale accumulation, especially in the context of the approaching halving, adds an intriguing layer to the current crypto landscape. The anticipation of potential higher returns post having appears to be a driving force behind this trend. As the crypto community continues to closely monitor these developments, it will be interesting to observe how the market reacts in the wake of the upcoming halving and whether historical patterns will once again manifest in the price dynamics of Bitcoin. In recent developments within the cryptocurrency space, there is noteworthy news regarding the security models of two leading blockchain networks, Bitcoin and Ethereum. The security protocols for these platforms have evolved to a point where executing 51% attacks on Bitcoin and 34% attacks on Ethereum are deemed economically unfeasible. A research paper highlighting these advancements underscores the substantial costs and risks involved in attempting such attacks. This analysis suggests that the security measures implemented in Bitcoin and Ethereum have reached a level where the potential benefits derived from carrying out such attacks are outweighed by the associated risks and costs. The concept of a 51% attack involves an entity or group controlling the majority, 51%, of the network's mining power, which could potentially allow them to manipulate transactions, double-spend coins, or even disrupt the entire network. Similarly, a 34% attack refers to the majority control of a network staking power, as in the case of Ethereum's transition to a proof-of-stake, POS, consensus mechanism through Ethereum 2.0. The research paper sheds light on the evolving security landscape of Bitcoin and Ethereum, emphasizing the formidable barriers that now deter malicious actors from attempting these attacks. One key factor contributing to the increased security is the growing size and decentralization of the mining and staking communities in both networks. As the number of participants in these processes continues to rise, the difficulty and costs associated with amassing a majority of the network's power become exorbitant. Moreover, the economic disincentives for attackers have become more pronounced. The paper underscores the substantial financial investments required to gain majority control, making the potential benefits of attacking the network pale in comparison to the massive costs involved. As a result, the security of Bitcoin and Ethereum has reached a level where the risks of attempting such attacks far outweigh any conceivable rewards. These findings are significant for the broader cryptocurrency community as they affirm the resilience and maturation of the security models underpinning these major blockchain networks. Confidence in the security of these networks is crucial for fostering trust among users, investors, and businesses participating in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. As the industry continues to evolve, advancements in security measures play a pivotal role in ensuring the integrity and stability of blockchain networks. It's important to note that this positive development does not negate the need for ongoing vigilance and continuous improvement of security protocols. The cryptocurrency landscape is dynamic and potential threats may evolve over time. As such, maintaining a proactive approach to security remains paramount for the sustained success and widespread adoption of blockchain technology. In conclusion, 
The recent research highlighting the economic infeasibility of 51% attacks on Bitcoin and 34% attacks on Ethereum underscores the resilience and effectiveness of the security models employed by these leading blockchain networks. The evolution of these security measures contributes to the overall robustness of the cryptocurrency ecosystem, instilling confidence and trust among stakeholders. As the industry continues to advance, ongoing efforts to enhance security protocols will play a crucial role in fortifying the foundation of blockchain technology and ensuring its long-term viability. Shifting our focus to Ripple, the renowned blockchain-based payment company has embarked on a noteworthy collaboration with Egypt's Commercial International Bank, CIB. This strategic partnership represents a significant milestone for Ripple as it extends its reach into the Egyptian market, showcasing the company's commitment to fostering global financial inclusion. Amidst ongoing challenges and regulatory scrutiny, Ripple remains steadfast in its mission to facilitate seamless cross-border payments and drive the broader adoption of its native digital asset, XRP. The collaboration with Commercial International Bank opens up new avenues for Ripple to showcase its innovative solutions in a region that holds immense potential for blockchain-based financial services. Egypt, with its large population and growing economy, presents a substantial market for modernizing cross-border payments and remittances. By partnering with a prominent financial institution like CIB, Ripple gains a strategic foothold in Egypt's financial landscape, providing an opportunity to showcase the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of its payment solutions. The primary focus of Ripple's technology lies in leveraging blockchain and cryptocurrency to streamline and enhance cross-border transactions. The use of XRP as a bridge currency aims to eliminate the traditional complexities and delays associated with international payments. Ripple solutions, including its on-demand liquidity ODL, service, have garnered attention for their potential to revolutionize the way money is transferred globally. However, it's essential to acknowledge the challenges Ripple has faced on the regulatory front, particularly in the United States. The ongoing legal proceedings with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, regarding the classification of XRP as a security have posed hurdles for the company. Despite these challenges, Ripple continues to explore new partnerships and collaborations worldwide, underscoring its commitment to expanding its network and fostering adoption on a global scale. The collaboration with Commercial International Bank aligns with Ripple's broader strategy of establishing partnerships with financial institutions and banks globally. Ripple's network, RippleNet, provides a platform for these institutions to connect and facilitate cross-border transactions seamlessly. By building strategic alliances, Ripple aims to create a more interconnected and efficient global financial ecosystem. As Ripple navigates the complex regulatory landscape and forges new collaborations, the company's resilience and commitment to its vision are evident. The partnership with CIB in Egypt serves as a testament to Ripple's ability to overcome challenges and pursue opportunities for growth in diverse markets. It also highlights the increasing recognition of blockchain technology as a transformative force in the financial industry, with Ripple at the forefront of driving innovation. In conclusion, Ripple's collaboration with Commercial International Bank in Egypt marks a significant step forward for the company's global expansion efforts. Despite regulatory challenges, Ripple continues to make strides in fostering partnerships with financial institutions worldwide. The collaboration underscores the potential for blockchain-based solutions to revolutionize cross-border payments, offering speed, transparency, and cost-effectiveness. As Ripple continues on its mission, the industry will closely watch how these strategic partnerships contribute to the broader adoption of blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies in the evolving landscape of global finance. In recent regulatory updates, Hong Kong's central bank has taken a significant step forward by releasing new guidelines aimed at institutions interested in providing crypto custodianship services. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority, HKMA, 
has positioned itself as a proactive regulator in the rapidly evolving cryptocurrency landscape, emphasizing the importance of due diligence and transparency for financial institutions venturing into the digital asset space. The guidelines issued by the HKMA serve as a framework for financial institutions seeking to offer custodial services for cryptocurrencies. These services involve the secure storage and management of digital assets on behalf of clients, a crucial component in facilitating the broader adoption and acceptance of cryptocurrencies within the traditional financial sector. One key aspect highlighted in the guidelines is the emphasis on due diligence. Financial institutions are encouraged to conduct thorough research and assessment when considering the incorporation of digital asset products into their services. This due diligence process ensures that institutions are well informed about the unique characteristics, risks, and regulatory considerations associated with cryptocurrencies. Transparency is another focal point of the guidelines. The HKMA underscores the importance of clear and comprehensive disclosure of key terms, features, and risks related to digital asset products. By providing transparent information to consumers, financial institutions can empower individuals to make informed decisions about engaging with cryptocurrency services, fostering a more secure and responsible market environment. These regulatory developments in Hong Kong are indicative of a broader global trend towards establishing clear frameworks for the integration of cryptocurrencies into traditional financial systems. Regulators worldwide are recognizing the growing significance of digital assets and are working to strike a balance between fostering innovation and protecting consumers and investors. The release of guidelines by Hong Kong's central bank aligns with the positive trajectory observed in the cryptocurrency space. Enhanced security measures, growing market sentiment, and the establishment of regulatory frameworks contribute to the maturation of the industry. These developments provide a foundation for increased confidence among institutional investors, businesses, and the general public, ultimately driving the mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies. As we navigate these exciting regulatory developments, it's evident that the cryptocurrency space is evolving beyond its early stages of uncertainty. The collaboration between financial institutions and regulators, as exemplified by Hong Kong's approach, plays a crucial role in shaping a more robust and sustainable ecosystem for digital assets. In conclusion, the release of guidelines by Hong Kong's central bank reflects a positive and forward-thinking approach to the integration of cryptocurrencies into the traditional financial landscape. The emphasis on due diligence and transparency aligns with global efforts to establish clear regulatory frameworks, fostering a secure and responsible environment for the growing use of digital assets. As we continue to witness these positive trends, stay tuned for more updates and news from the dynamic world of cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to engaging with you all soon.